Hello everyone, Fred Cornelette here. Today we're going to talk about how to set up a flaps or ailerons or any two surfaces with Dave's RC Electronics Y. And this Y is, does a little bit more than just send the signal from the receiver to two servos. It also has endpoint. You can also reverse the second channel and you'll see why that's important. Um, so if the two servos do not rotate in the same direction but you, you need to reverse one of the channels and you want endpoint adjustment on the second channel this is the item you're looking for. So if you just need a standard Y harness it's just a standard wire, wire Y harness that's easy but this allows you to change the endpoint of one of the servos which is especially helpful on flaps and ailerons and then it will reverse one of the, and there's two versions one with a reverse second channel and one without the reverse channel if you are in the St. Louis area and if you want to come fly some RCU control line we fly at Booter Park and which is the northeast corner of I-44 and Highway 141 the Lafayette Escadrille Control Line Club flies there and there's multiple RC clubs that fly there and if you want more information about the flying site go to www.gslma.com glisma.com which stands for the Greater St. Louis Modeling Association. Talk to you later. Bye. Hi there. This is the RV4 wing. That It's the Great Plains RV4 56 inch band kit. And I had the flap set up with a single servo and a solder together push rod that goes between the left and the right hand flap. Now if you want the flaps to be in the same position you have to set the flaps with endpoint to get one of them set correctly and then adjust one of the one of the clevises. And you can see here it works it's fine So it is a little bit cumbersome in terms of you have to adjust one of the two flaps to get them in the same position on the trailing edge. So now what we've done here, what I've done with this wing is I've modified it with two servos. But more importantly, let's look at servo direction. So what I've done here is I have a Y harness which I'm taking channel 5 with it which is going to a toggle switch and I'm going to send it to two servos now the Y harness takes the same signal from that channel and both servos are going to be doing the same thing so you notice that if I want the flaps in the down position I need the servo here but this servo is over here so we need to reverse this servo so obviously with how I have the servos installed this one's normal but this one has to be a reverse so this Y harness is not going to work okay so now what I've done is I have put in a Y harness but this Y harness is a little bit different in that it has a lead that goes to the receiver and then it has the two leads that go to this to the servos however it reverses this channel is reversed and then this channel is normal. So in other words it takes it reverses one of the two and it, whichever one you reverse is not 
not important. Now this this is from Dave's RC Electronics. So he has two versions of these these Ys. This is the one that reverses the, the second channel. He has another one that that does not reverse the second channel. So depending upon if your servos rotate the same direction or a different direction. But you notice now both servos are rotating the correct direction to operate the flaps. So now when I operate the flaps, this is the up position, half down, and then full down. Okay, now that we have we have we have the the Y installed, this is this is this is the Y with the reversed second channel. We have we have the push rods adjusted so that they're close, but they need some fine tuning because it's hard. It may be hard to see, but this flap is lined up. But this flap is is down a little bit. Now I could adjust this clevis until this flap is up there, but this unit has a little trim pot, and this is the end point that second servo so I can turn this little trim pot until this flap is lined up now you can use this for ailerons you can use it for flaps you can use it for any two items that need to be lined up that are controlled by different servos now you need to make sure you get the the correct version either reverses the second servo or does not reverse the second servo. So you need to decide are your servos traveling in the same direction or in different directions as in my case. Because like we saw in the like we saw earlier if I take these servos and I hook them hook them through a standard Y harness these servos spin the opposite direction. So I hope this helps. Talk to you later. Bye.